YouTubers, it's me, Pinky. I'm going to do a review on the Skyrocket branded uh, AppScope Quick Attach 30X Microscope. And if you hear a lot of excessive noise in the background, I have a really loud refrigerator and Stacy Kitty, way over yonder, excuse my mess, is in the shadow scratching on a scratch mat. He'll start to meow in a few moments. But, um, I bought this during the Christmas season at Toys R Us. Um, this is what the package looks like. It says, H3 and up, no app required. It includes three, um, button cell batteries that are already inside it. Um, it just powers the light to the microscope. And, um, it just slides on over your smart device's camera lens. And that's the lens to the microscope on this side, and then this is, like, the mount piece. This is my only thing I really don't like about this, is the mount piece, instead of this, like, kind of, like, opening up and then you place it on your device, is these two little tiny tabs that you have to pull up at the same time, and then when you, um, put on your device, the, uh, light comes on. Like, yeah. When you pull on the um, tabs to pull this down up to slide it over your device. Which means if you have your phone or tablet in a protective case, like this is my um, hard back to my commuter case for my Samsung Galaxy phone, I had to take this off. So right now my phone's just in the rubber piece to my um, protective case, but not the hard back. So that is the only thing I don't like about it is in order to get it to fit. You have to take it out of the protective case. Um, to be fair, though, on the picture, it shows a iPhone. And it shows that this iPhone, you can look at it in this picture, it's not in a protective case. So, that should have been my warning that that was what was going to be the case with it. Um, it shows the zoomed in of this fly in the picture. And then how well that looks, and I'm sorry, it's like moving around and refocusing. That's my camera. But it says you can take pictures or capture video. It shows skin, salt, plants, and money. Here's what my skin looks like without it. If my camera will focus, see, my camera does not want to focus in um, video mode. It does a much better job of focusing um, off video. Um, and then I did my... um pajamas to see fabric because that was another example that I had um, in the instructions it also said money um, and then I also did this my um this is my coasters container it's pretty old and dented and stuff like that but it looked pretty cool underneath the microscope and then I did the flowers on my Kohl's um, magazine and then I did the center of the blue flower on my coffee mug so, I'm going to go ahead and slide this on, and it was packaged really good. It came in this package, which had this blister pack, which was very well protected. It was inside this, and then it also came with, in addition to what's already on the box, it's got some slight instructions on the back of it, more detailed instructions um, inside the package that tell you about the tabs as for sliding it onto your device. Um... But, okay, I'm going to try to keep this in landscape mode because the last time I moved my camera too much and I did a video, it, um, put it in portrait mode when I uploaded it to YouTube. Let me see if I got it on here. So I'm probably going to get like a really blurred image right now because I'm fitting this over my camera lens, but... Okay. So it's on right now and you probably can't see anything too clearly. But, um, oh yeah, the other fan deal was back in my auto box cases. I had to take it off. So right now you can see, this is at 1x. And this is my skin at 1x. And when you put this on, it recommends you blowing up your screen so that way you don't see the inside of the microscope. But also you get like the maximum magnification that you get with the device. And it says you want to put it almost like you're about to put it directly on the surface that you're looking at. 
but look how blurry that is. But then it gets much sharper though when I actually touch the microscope to the object that I'm looking at. Look how much clearer that is versus just trying to hover it. My camera doesn't want to focus on it when I hover it just above the surface. So that's my eye box case. And this is my skin. And you can even spot like a couple of hairs. And the reason why everything's so bright, because my skin color is not really that bright or whatever it is, is the um, LED light on the inside of the microscope. Without it though, you won't see anything because you probably saw how dark it got when I was putting this on. Now I'm going to grab my coals out um, and zoom into the tulips. So I got one of the petals there. Some contrast. Actually looks pretty pretty. And that's what my um, circular looks like. Zoomed up on the tulips. Uh, the coffee mug. That's the blue flower. Working my way to the center. Nope, I, I think I zoomed in on the wrong flower. But you see all the texture and details in it. There we go. And that's the center of the flower. The different speckles of paint and stuff throughout. The little imperfections. This is a really old mug. And then, more interesting, this one right here, the case for my coasters. And I thought it was really pretty when I got up on the flowers. So right now I'm up on, like, the group of uh, flowers. I guess they're, like, cherry blossom trees in the picture. And then this is the roof of one of the buildings. The shingles, the eave, and it's different shapes. So it does a really great job of zooming in on the designs and stuff. And then when you pull items away... It gets fuzzy, but yeah, for the most part, I really like this. Um, I'm actually impressed at how well it focuses with the camera because usually it's my camera really sucks with this. And you can tell once I took it off, it doesn't really want to focus that much. It's still acting like I'm um, zoomed in, but oh yeah, and it says app scope right on the product. And then I forgot I am still on zoom with this, so there we go. So that's my review on the AppScope. I'll continue to play with this. But um it was um $14.99. I got it on discount for $10.79 during the holiday sales. So um still not bad. It's pretty good.